Parshas B'Shal of Sheni. So we're up to the fact that the uh, Yidden are running away. They think that everything is safe and clear. When suddenly, the Egyptians are marching in hot pursuit of them. And there's a frenzy. There's a tremendous commotion. The Jews realize that they're in danger. But furthermore, Uparo Hikriv, and Paro himself is drawing close. But this terminology is problematic. As all the Rishonim point out, it should have said Uparo Korav. Paro was getting closer. Paro Hikriv means that Paro was drawing them closer. What does that mean? Sir Sabrina Bahaya, that the Gemara, the Talmud in the Megillah, Dafyudal, says that more than all the prophets and prophetesses, there were 48 prophets and seven prophetesses of the Jewish people that spoke with fire and brimstone to adjure and to convince the Jewish people to do tshuva, told them, Ur Yushene Mishinasam, wake up from your sleep and stupor and slumber, get your act together, what's the matter with you, why are you behaving in an inappropriate way? And it was pointless, they didn't accomplish. But who did accomplish? When Achashverosh removed his signet ring and gave it to Haman, and Haman now had the power to annihilate Chas Vichlila, to cause a genocide of the Jewish people, all of a sudden the Jewish people woke up and they started doing tshuva. Says Rabbi Nuchaya, that's precisely what's going on over here. Paro Hikriv. The Jewish people weren't doing tshuva. Moshe Rabbeinu could have told them from today to tomorrow. Aaron Hotcoin could have told them from today to tomorrow. But when Paro Hikriv, when they saw the anti Semite was about to attack them and Chashashom obliterate them, they woke up. So I ask you today, in our contemporary society, do we need an anti Semite to threaten us? Or we could do tshuva, me'ava, out of love.